Hey, welcome to my channel where I just teach the Bible. I, that's all we do. It's several times a day, you'll get a message. Some of them are real short. On Friday, I'll give you one that's about 20, more like 17 to 22 minutes, depending on what it is. Working our way through the Gospel of Mark. And every day, some short ones, and then one that's three to five minutes. This is one that's three to five minutes. Um, hope you'll subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell so you get notified every time I put something out. Do it several times a day. Uh, give me comments, make, you know, give me thumbs up. Do what you can to help me get it out to people. Share the video with someone. Help me reach more people. Most of all, subscribe. What is the foundation of faith? Is it a wise message from some preacher? Is that the foundation of faith? Is the foundation of, of faith about eloquence and superior wisdom from some preacher? And I've been a preacher for a long time, but is that where faith comes from? 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5 addresses faith's foundation. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. Apostle Paul speaking to the folks in Corinth. When we kind of read between the lines in Paul's letter to the church in Corinth and see, we see that someone may have been leading them astray with human wisdom. He brings that up over and over again. Human wisdom. Oh, he's a great teacher. He's wonderful wisdom in that man. What is, what's he doing? What's the Apostle Paul doing? Well, he's calling them back to a simple faith founded on God's power, not man's wisdom. That's the, and that's the kind of faith we all need. When teaching gets, listen to this, it's important. When teaching gets you focused on the teacher's wisdom and not God's power, it's called into question. It calls itself into question. Real good Christian teaching will always focus you on the power of God. And that comes from one place we're going to get to that. Faith's foundation is not slick preaching and not wisdom from man. Paul defines the power of God, the foundation of faith in 1 Corinthians 2. 2. He started off with that in the early part of the chapter. He said this, for I resolved, this is important, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Faith's foundation is simple. It's about Jesus Christ and him crucified. Let me ask you a question. What would the Christian faith be without Jesus Christ and him crucified? What would it be? Not much. Not much. Just a bunch of people blowing smoke about being nice to each other and maybe even sounding pretty good about it. But no power. No power. But with the cross, with the cross, Jesus bears our sin and when that sin is gone, guess what you can do? You can know God personally by faith. It is impossible to know God, to know him personally, have a personal relationship with him without Jesus' payment on the cross. So think of it like this. Faith's foundation is really pretty simple. It's Christ crucified, kicking the door open to know God bless you. I hope that's encouraging to you, and I will talk to you again real soon.